Okay, so you want to convert a CSV file into an Excel file. Now I've got two versions of the same file here. One where the data is separated by commas. So the comma indicates a new column. And the other where the semicolon is used to do the same thing. Now if I open up the version of the file that uses commas, you can see the data nicely appears in separate columns. I've got a little bit of work to do in terms of deleting empty columns and rows, but essentially it's worked. Now if I close that down, and I try and do the same thing with the version of the file that uses semicolons, you can see that the data isn't separated into separate columns, all the data appears in one column. Now I'll close this down, and I want to show you in Windows where you can specify the default list separator. So the delimiter or the character that is by default used to separate columns. Now to do that, you need to go to your Windows Start button at the bottom left of your screen. And at the top here, just type region. You should see under settings an option for region. If you click on that, and then click on additional settings down here, Look for this option, list separator. By default on my PC, it's set as a comma, but if I typed in a semicolon instead, and then just confirm with OK, and then OK again, if I now open up this semicolon version of the file, you can see that Excel's automatically recognized the semicolon as a column separator. So if you generally receive files where a semicolon is used to separate columns, it may be worth changing that window setting. But what if you receive a mixture, a mixture of files that use commas or semicolons? How do we deal with that scenario? Well, I'm just gonna change my window setting back to using comma as the list separator. So I go back to my window start button, I type region at the top here. Select region in the list, go to additional settings, and I'll just type a comma back in this option here for list separator. Click on OK, and then on OK again. OK, so I'm gonna open up this semicolon version of the file in Excel. I'm just gonna double click on it. Here you can see the data all in one column. Now I'm gonna show you two ways to separate this data out into separate columns. So the first method requires you to select that column, then go to the Data tab on your ribbon, then go to Text to Columns. Make sure Delimited is selected there. Go to Next, untick Tab, and then tick Semicolon. This assumes that a semicolon is being used to separate your columns, and then just click on Finish. You can see the data has now been separated into separate columns. Now I still need to do a little bit of work deleting these rows that I don't need and deleting these blank columns. Okay, so that's method one. Method two requires you to open a blank workbook, then go to the data tab on your ribbon and use this button from text CSV. Then you need to navigate to the file that you want to open, select it. Click on Import. In this window, make sure the delimiter is the correct delimiter for your file. Excel will normally identify it correctly, and it has done here. Now you could just click on Load, and it will load the file as it appears here. Or you can click on this Transform Data button, and that allow you to get rid of the empty rows and columns within Power Query. So the first thing I'd want to do here is get rid of these rows that I don't need. Now to do that, you click on this Remove Rows button and then Remove Top Rows. And then we'll say we want to remove the top three rows. Then I'm going to use this first row as our column headers. You can do that just by clicking on this button here. Then I'll get rid of this first row. Then I'll right click on this column and remove it. And then this one and then I'll load the data to Excel by clicking on this button. Now the data ends up in an Excel table. If you don't like the formatting that it's applied, 
all you need to do is go to this table stars gallery, go to this little drop down, and use this option down here clear, and that'll get rid of any formatting. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.